Adding tags. We can add tags to our building model. Tags are useful in identifying the elements. So it will tell us what things, what each thing is. So each category of, in our families has a tag. Uh, some are automatically loaded with the Revit template and some are not. If it's not loaded, we can go into um, and add them in later, you know, later on. We also can control the visibility of our graphics. So in Revit, if we go over to our view, we go to visibility graphics, uh, our tags are loaded in here. So um, for example, um, if I go into, uh, I come down to, uh, where are we at here? Oh, if I got to go to annotation category, sorry, in my annotation, you see I have an area tag, I have assembly tag, casework tags, ceiling tags, I have door tags, etc. So in this particular view that I'm in, level one, door tags are automatically turned on. So are my furniture tags. So I can control those as I go. So we can identify those types of tags in our drawing uh, to identify each item. Uh, and so we can have them on or off. So we can have the tags in here to identify each one or we can have them off. So remember each kind of category such as furniture, windows, doors, all have these tags. And uh, we'll go and next look at methods to place tags.